Well, hello everybody, happy Friday, and welcome to Style Stories. I'm Kate Bellman, Senior Managing Editor here at Nordstrom. Now, for those who have watched previous Style Stories or End Life events, you know the drill. You know what you are in for today. For those joining for the first time, I do want to take a quick moment to share some highlights of the shopping event and also welcome you. So, most importantly, here's the most exciting thing about it, NLive. All of this product that we're going to show with you today is completely shoppable. So, this is the best of instant gratification. You add it to your cart, you pick your size, it shows up at your house, you have spring trends delivered to your door, right? So, as you're watching, keep an eye out in the chat. The links of the product that I'm sharing will pop up. Just click away, stay with me, and you've, you've got a whole new spring wardrobe, right? Okay, secondly, we are coming to you today live from our Seattle flagship store. So, I'm talking to you real time. I want to hear back. Send me your questions, send any comments, tell me what you're loving. Just say hello, I want to hear from you. So, that's all the fine print. Now, for today's event, I'm going to give you a rundown of the most important spring trends to keep your eye on this season, okay? Just like at the start of a new year, the new season is fantastic. It gives us the opportunity for whole clean slate, and that comes to your wardrobe too. So it's a great time to do what I recommend doing a closet clean out. Take the time, think about what you love to wear, what isn't working, and what are some potential voids or things you don't have that are in your, in your wardrobe that you need to add this season, right? Also, with the start of every season, we are introduced to the newness in fashion. This is when the new product is hitting our stores and online. So, I know sometimes it feels like a bit of a maze and you don't know where to start. So, we're going to take the time to break it down today and go over the most important trends for the spring season. And I'll show you some of my favorite product within each trend, okay? So, don't despair. We've got you covered. Let's start talking spring fashion, all right? First up, for those who joined us last month in February, we talked about perfected classics. That's what we're calling here at Nordstrom, kind of that new uniform, right? So this is everything from the perfect shirt, that classic trench coat, an amazing blazer. Not only are they in the fashion cycle right now or the trend cycle, but they are timeless investment pieces. So you really can't go wrong with this trend. You will have them forever which is one of the, my favorite reasons that this trend is in existence right now. It's also super sustainable, because again, you're gonna have this pieces forever. They don't go out of style. First up, love the striped guy from Maylene Berger. I love sort of that neutral tone on tone, black and uh, tan stripe. It has this nice oversized swingy shape, but a great um, sort of dart in the back that gives it a little bit of refinement and that oversized pocket too. So when we're talking about perfected classics, and building that new uniform. It's also about looking for these new interesting design details too, right? It's not just your everyday basic striped shirt or basic button up. It has that oversized uh, pocket, so that's a great sort of fun design detail, as well as the oversized uh, cuff um, sleeve at the end, right? Great little swingy item there. Another sort of take on that traditional striped shirt, this one from Ghani. Ghani, one of our uh, brands from Copenhagen, much of their product also is made of sustainable materials. Love this because you have the mixed stripe. So you have the finer whale and then the broader, uh, thicker stripe throughout. Um, but then it also has that pullover little uh, pointed collar as well. So depending on how you wear it, you can either have it buttoned up all the way as it is on the hanger, unbutton a little bit and you get a little more flap in the front and back. So you've got some play there as well. Love this item, key piece for me this season. Also the notion of just Easy button ups, a little more fitted as well. Love this one from Madewell. This nice little just easy throw on. It has the um, gathered bottom, so it does give you a bit of uh, waist detail, especially in the back. But this would just look so seamless and effortless with a full skirt, which we're gonna start to see much of this spring season, that emergence, re-emergence of the skirt. So love this is just an easy sort of topper. It almost feels like a little cardigan, but in the, in the essence of a blouse, which is a great item. All right, let's talk separates. One of my favorite uh, pairs of pants, it actually is a full suit from the brand Month. Again, another brand from Copenhagen. Love that nice, soft uh, gray coloration. So I know we've kind of 
big on heavier grays, deeper uh, charcoals, and uh, deeper darks and navies in the winter season. Start taking that forward in the spring. You can still stick in the neutral zone, but just light it up in terms of its coloration. So this is a nicer kind of oatmeal gray. And again, back to that soft wide leg pan. It's all about your loose, languid, wide leg uh, trouser this season. Really emerges from kind of a more refined, tapered uh, leg that we've seen of seasons past. So great item here for month. Again, also comes in a suit. A suit is so important this season. All right, I showed a lot of blazers last month as we really honed in on Perfected Classics. So I have just a couple of my favorites uh, that are new to the floor since we've been together last month. Love this one from Avec Les Fields. That's just a great brand for outerwear, coats, also blazers. It's faux leather. Much of the faux leather or real leather that we see is um, dark, right? So dark blacks and grays and really sort of rooted in these deeper colors. So I love that we have it for spring in the ivory color. It's just a single button with your little um, pretty tortoiseshell uh, finish there, but just a really classic, beautiful jacket in a faux leather that I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. It's a great ad. Also the short sleeve jacket or the shorts or the sleeveless um, blazer, also called a vest two new options in terms of how to do tailoring up top. So as the weather starts to get warmer, we are all praying it's any day now we're gonna see that sunshine and some warmer temperatures. You wanna still be tailored, especially if you're returning to office with some more frequency, but how to do it without sweating through the summer. That's sleeveless vest or the short sleeve blazer. Love this one from Theory. You have the utility pockets, very similar to my Veronica beard. So again, that gives it a different design detail cinched waist, so it looks great with back to pair of kind of oversized wide legs. Again, you're kind of getting that sort of Katherine Hepburn 1940s menswear look, but just a great new item if you, um, especially if you work somewhere which is more polished and refined and you want to continue with tailoring through the spring and summer, great option there from Theory. All right, moving from our classic new uniform into what's happening in preppiness you know every once in a while we start to see preppy uh, this emerge which i love i am from the east coast preppy was you know i was born and raised on a preppy uh, wardrobe um love some of these new updates that we're seeing they're they're fun they're vibrant they're energetic um this bp jacket is a great add-on it's very polished very classic but it's playful through that new lavender that no, lavender coloration you have the uh, pearl detail buttons and then the raw hem finish, which does make it feel a little more playful, a little more fresh and youthful. Um, so just kind of re-energizing that classic, you know, think Coco Chanel tweed uh, suit from decades ago. It's coming back and it's important. Also pair it with the skirt. We have a lot of these in uh, match sets. So the mini skirt, little tweed mini skirt is an important item for the season. All right, I know you might look at this and think it's a little bonkers. I just think it's so fun. It's really playful from Scotch and Soda. They're a brand that does print really well. They do playfulness really well. Love this kind of fruit springy um, patchwork throughout their cable knit cardigan. Easy to throw on, just fun and cheerful. Sometimes you just wanna put on a sweater and smile, right? I do. All right, classic cable knits we're seeing updated. Um, this one from Free People. It's just an easy throw on. So very similar to that Madewell um, uh, blouse. Easy to throw on with just a wide or a full skirt. Super simple, but classic and chic. So this is great to pop on some statement accessories, a bold necklace, some oversized earrings, and you're good to go. She's a great little throw on item. The other thing about the playful prep is we're seeing uh, classic preppy patterns really move forward in fun new ways, whether it's new coloration or new scale. Have some great items here. The first from Bohm and Susfer Garden. I think I finally nailed how to say the brand name. Again, another one out of uh, Copenhagen. This is a great stretchy knit fabric. It also comes in a, a match set. So there's a skirt online. Unfortunately, we didn't have it here in the store, in Seattle store for me to show you. But if you really wanna go bold with this print, go for the match set. It's a great uh, stretch knit material. It's gonna give you a lot of wear. Um, if you don't wanna to go totally bonkers and do the match set, again, great back to a pair of just seamless trousers for work or an easy pair of denim, good to go. Also in the vein of kind of updating classic uh, prints and patterns, 
Love this one from BDG, the Urban Outfitters brand. Um, again, you're getting the mixed prints, the mixed um, uh, knit rib as well. So there's sort of differentiation there through that kind of uh, overt seam. So really fun sort of little just throw on item. Okay, in terms of denim, denim comes to play in our new uniform this season, but it's all about new shapes within denim. So we've been talking bit by bit about relinquishing ourselves of skinny jeans. I get if you want to hold on to them for just your tried and true workhorse, but I encourage everyone to try some new silhouettes in denim. There's a lot happening out there. Love this first pair from Perenza Schooler White Label. I think everyone there needs a pair of white jeans. They're so easy to wear. I actually wear them year round, not just spring and summer. So I would wear them with an oversized sweater or a cashmere sweater, something really chunky and cozy uh, throughout fall and winter. And then in the spring and summer, easy breezy with any of your kind of effortless spring tops. So love again, um, they're more wide leg in nature. They have, it's hard to tell on screen, but click in. They have this uh, emphasized seam that runs down the back, um, the oversized pockets. They're definitely a bit more slouchy in nature. Another pair of great slouchy denim, super casual, um, kind of fun and fresh. It feels like really you're wearing your, your boyfriend or your husband's denim. This pair from Frame, love that slouch shape as well as the cuff detail on the bottom. So they really do kind of give that essence of throwback Americana, you know, back to the 50s when women were start, first starting to wear jeans. So I love that reference and um, great pair, top of my wish list. All right. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times. We are thinking pink for spring. It is color numero uno this season. It's all about pink and the layers of pink. That's why we've actually named the trend Pink Parfait because it's all about the layering of the pink. So some great ways to do that. This is kind of an edgy item. It's a little forward, but just wanted to show you all the places we're seeing it. This one from Jonathan Simkai. So pink, really important in tailoring and blazers. This one has the really kind of edgy cutout in the back. If that's something you're interested in, super chic. If you um, are brave, go ahead and pull it off as a mini dress or throw it over something like a pair of um, ivory denim. So some options there. If you're also, if you're not comfortable with the cutout, whether it's this jacket or any item that has a cutout, just throw a camisole or a blouse or something under. You still get the illusion, but you feel like you're getting the coverage that you want. All right, some easier items to wear in the pink family that make great layers. As we're saying, we're layering up on the pink. A uh, simple slip skirt from Farm Rio has the great uh, tie waistband. So easy to wear, dress it up, dress it down. These slip skirts are just really kind of the essence of uh, versatility in terms of how to, how to wear in your wardrobe. And then again, another slinky from Baum and Fuffer Garden has the cutout in the back but really easy to wear throughout the season, especially now it might not be warm where you are. You know, looks great. Likewise, under something like the um, a Vecla Feels blazer or a little cardigan if you wanted to punch her up under the little preppy patchwork cardigan. So you've got some options for now. And then once you hit spring and summer, wear it loose and open, pair on a pair of strappy sandals, you are good to go. All right. One of the most sort of fun statement uh, trends for the spring season, it's all about these graphic abstract prints. So I have some of my favorite to show you today. First up from Staud, so literally designed by um, the head designer. Uh, sh very fun sort of 60s, 70s caftan chic. Love that all over uh, sort of engaged swirl print really just kind of reminds me of Jackie O in her, her Grecian days. Again, something if you want to wear as a little mini skirt, go to town, but easy enough to wear as kind of a oversized tunic or top over a pair of pants. So depending on how you feel like wearing it, but love this version. You can either wear it boxier or it does give you the option with the um, tie waistband there. All right, then we have from the Ula company, I love this brand. We started carrying them about a year ago. Uh, it's a female-owned, black-owned brand. Um, a lot of sustainable efforts and fair um, employee practices within this company. Um, all of the product is handcrafted. It's made from either dead stock or African wax fabrics here in the, in the United States. So 
this is a company that really uh, wants to do good. So they're doing good, but they're also making us look good. All of their prints are just so emotional. I love every piece of them. If you're on your computer watching now, just look at the brand and see, because there's different silhouettes that all of their um, really fantastic prints come in. So this one is the kind of oversized to your maxi shirt dress staple within that brand. They also have a few kind of fun and flirty minis. So depending on what you feel comfortable with, but definitely a brand I want to um, put out there because they're doing really great things. All right, no stranger to the print world, Farm Rio. So we've got kind of these graphic statement abstract, also these little bits of tropical as we're going into summer. So really beautiful, um, they're coming out of Farm Rio. This is just says like, I am ready for a drink with an umbrella and a pedicure, and I'm gonna put my feet up for the week. She is, she is glamorous and vacation ready. All right, last up for spring is the idea of glam for day, right? So we've been, we've been starting to get out, going to parties, going to weddings once again. All of this happens in the evening for the most part, right? So then all of our fancy clothes sits in our closet. They literally don't see the light of day. Spring 23, we are going to show them the sunshine finally. So it's all about kind of styling tips and hacks, right? So items that you would gravitate towards for evening wear or for a dressed up occasion, wear in a more sort of toned down casual manner. So I'm thinking about something like this um, Stodd crossover blouse. It's all about that high shine, like I said, but again, back to something that feels really casual. So you could do her back to the slouchy denim, throw on a pair of simple thong black sandals and it really tones it down and makes it right for the day. So Stodd item, great option there. Again, when we're talking high shine, similar to that Farm Rio um, satin slip skirt, love this one from ASOS Design. Um, under $100 there, it's an easy way to do glam for the day. You can literally do this with like a sweatshirt and a pair of sneakers or uh, easy uh, thong sandals really brings it down, tones it down, but it gives you that sort of feeling that you're dressed up and you have your statement piece on. All right, so the next few items could go either way. You could wear them during the day. They do feel a little more evening ready if you have something coming up that's uh, dressed up for a black tie. These Alice and Olivia sequence pants, they are bonkers. I was walking on the floor and just, I felt my heart racing, I was so in love. It's like wearing a disco ball. But what I love about them and what makes them casual in nature is that it's an elastic waistband. So it literally feels like you're wearing your, you know, favorite sweatpants sitting around the house in the form of shimmer and shine and all out glam. So absolutely easy to wear for nighttime, especially with something like the high shine of the stod and some dressed heels and your, your fantastic and ready for party ready. If you want to try these out for the day, I totally want to see it. I want you to come meet me for lunch. Throw it on with like an easy white t-shirt, a tank top. Again, back to a pair of really simple um, thong sandals or strappy sandals, even a pair of like sneakers. So I definitely think there's a way to do it. Again, because they are very casual in nature in terms of their uh, silhouette, that wide elastic waistband. So. Try it out during the day. I know you think I'm a little cuckoo bananas when I say these things, but I would absolutely do this and it's fun. Just have fun, everyone. All right, lastly, some of my favorite um, occasion items as we're heading in towards wedding season. From Allison Olivia, something like a black tie she's great for, has the embellishment with the pearl and um, rhinestones around the neckline. That little mod sort of um, simple shape, long sort of exaggerated zipper in the back. Um, and then faux leather. It's really sort of fun to see faux leather in something like evening wear and occasion wear. And this is also what makes it a little more bit daytime ready, okay? It's that faux leather, which is a little more casual in nature. Lastly, from Ghani, this is really a silhouette they have kind of in the DNA of their brand. Um, introduce it season after season. It's a, always a top performer. Love this update in the beautiful brocade, again, with uh, the shimmers of pink. So again, something you could wear to a wedding, very, um, you know, throw on a really glamorous pair of heels or um, strappy sandals, or wear it in the daytime over a t-shirt, kind of that idea that 90s slip dress over a t-shirt, back to um, easy sandals. 
Get yourself a pair of just simple thong sandals. They're gonna go with so much this season and they're gonna tone down when you're feeling kind of too dressed up in this area. They really do help to tone things down. All right. Now to my friends, I never forget them, pink and green over here. So we have, you know, we're continuing thinking pink from, or I'm sorry, this is green. We're thinking green, high glam, high couture from Farm Rio, has the cutouts front and back. And now, see, I can stop thinking pink. I was speaking to it too early. We have head to toe here from Alice and Olivia. It covers the tailoring trend and it covers pink. So you can break this apart in separates, wear just the blazer or wear the pants um, separate, however you wanna wear, or absolutely pull it together in head to toe. This is the pink statement that we're talking about. When we say pink parfait, this is the layers that we wanna see. All right, accessories real quick. Just wanted to show the super cute, uh, tote from Kate Spade. This is a classic investment. I love the fresh color for spring. I particularly love the high contrast with the branding tag there. Um, and for anyone who's watched this series, you know I'm obsessed with having a practical shoulder drop, a practical shoulder strap. So this one is really perfect. It sits right there under where it needs to. It's not slipping and sliding. Great for commute. It fits a ton. One of my favorite items out there for spring right now. Then in footwear, I'm gonna give you my top three for this season. The platform, we've been talking about it. We saw it in boots through fall and winter. Now we're seeing it as an uh, ultimate must have for spring season. Love this strappy pair from Jeffrey Campbell. Again, they look so high, but the beauty of the platform is it really, it's, it's kind of, we're faking everyone out. It's, you know, smoke and mirrors. You have that sort of high, um, high form, which it gives you, it feels like you're walking on a flat a little bit. So you look high, it like, looks like a pump, it feels like a sneaker. And then Jeffrey Campbell, the loafer, so chic, so effortless, goes with so much here on the rack. You will have a classic loafer. Love this one with beautiful gold hardware. You're gonna have it for the rest of your life. So love something like the Jeffrey Campbell. And then the flat, whether it's a ballet flat or something like this really effortless square toe from Sardo, we're definitely seeing that emergence of this simple flat take shape. So we've been sitting in sneakers for years. We still wanna feel comfortable. This really beautiful polished um, little effortless flat is a no brainer for the spring season. So she is fantastic. All right, that's all I got. I've done a lot of talking. So I want to hear from you. I'm gonna pull my phone out, see what we've got. All right. Vicki Barber, what pants do you wear with two, the two blouses? I assume you mean maybe the, the two blouses I started with. Great question. I would absolutely wear um, the trouser, something like the month trouser. The thing about proportions this season is it should feel sort of loose and casual and effortless, but still pull together. You're not wearing wide over wide necessarily. You're wearing something that's just straight, easy, effortless and elegant. So I would definitely wear something um, that sort of follow the same shape and that same line you're gonna get from these two. So probably something straight. I also think it's great, you know, back to denim, back to something like the slouchy denim as well. So again, you're getting that kind of feeling of a feeling more relaxed and casual, but still polished and pulled together. So great question, Vicki. These shirts look extremely oversized, Gay France said. This one is, I will say, I think this is a little oversized. It's definitely meant to have a more swingy shape, but that doesn't mean you can't tuck it in. I have a very similar um, silhouette and I love it because it's something I can wear out and sort of swingy. I actually also wear it unbuttoned with a shirt underneath and some wide leg pants or tuck her in. So if there's a, an occasion you wanna look more um, kind of fitted and, and pulled together, absolutely these can be tucked in. But it absolutely is an oversized in nature shirt. This one is pretty straight. I will say, I don't know if you've clicked in on the model. It does have a more um, straight silhouette, not too kind of swingy or oversized. If you're looking for um, just your classic button up though, we have great versions from Rails, from Nordstrom, and these are your classic button up with the darting um, and really pulled together and also easy to wear, but it does give you kind of a bit more um, of a fitted, fitted shape. BK Holly, can you suggest ways to wear crop tops if you're challenged in the middle? That's a great question because I am. So when I wear crop tops, it's always with something 
high-waisted. So you want to bring kind of the emphasis into the illusion that you have that waistline, and something that's high-waisted is going to do that. So um, I'm thinking about something like this Madewell top. It is a bit cropped in nature. Why I love this one and why I wanted to share it is it because it does cinch you in. So you're looking for something that might have that cinch. So then when you pair it with a um, full skirt, you're gonna have that kind of hourglass illusion, even if you have to fake it. If it's something that cr is cropped but a little bit swingy, again, back to that high-waisted and you're not gonna have a separation there. So the crop top is gonna come basically where the start of your, the waistline of your pant hits. So that's my recommendation. Another thing you could do too is use it as a, as a layer. So throw it under a blazer, under an oversized cardigan sweater, um, and you can wear it over a slip dress too. That's sort of one of my other tricks is wearing it over, you know, imagine the Farm Rio as we have a lot of slip dresses on the floor, not just slip skirts. So it's really easy, it almost acts as like a slip, and you have that little crop top over, over but you don't have to ever worry about showing, showing your midriff because I do not do that, but I appreciate everyone who does. All right, We've, we have some love for the Ula dress. I love it. Um, how heavy are the Jeffrey Campbell platforms? Tisha is wondering. Great question, not heavy at all. Like actually, honestly, super light. I had a lot of this product in my hand running up here and these shoes and they were honestly light as a feather, so even on your foot. And they're really, the straps are well made too, so they're gonna stay on. You're not gonna be fussing around with them. Um, they're, gonna, they're, they're made to stay on your feet. Jeffrey Campbell knows women. He knows women's feet. He knows how to fit them. He is a real person I've met several times, so he really care, truly cares about fit. Um, and so absolutely, I think these would be easy enough to wear. All right, great questions. We'll leave it there. Thank you, everyone. If you are watching later on Facebook or YouTube or whatever platform you're catching style stories, feel free to leave a question and I will check back with some frequency and hope to answer them. So thank you all for joining. I very much appreciate it. Um, for those uh, who want to join next month, we are talking denim. So April is such a great time to look at your denim wardrobe, see what fits, what doesn't, what maybe needs an update. Hopefully might have a stylist here who might give some um, very important styling tips and tricks. So we got you covered in the denim world. Dress it up, dress it down. It's all about denim next April. Hope to see you there. Until then, take care and happy shopping and have a good weekend, everyone. Goodbye.